think? How are we? Yes, well, Eamon, your reaction to the news that Harry Kane has signed a five-year contract at Spurs? Well, yeah, and it's going to possibly give him £90 million over that period of time. Maybe bonuses built into that. But, uh, well, they managed to keep Pochettino and, you know, it's certainly a move in the right direction in terms of the wage structure and the willingness to pay Harry Kane what he's worth. Um, so... Um, it's interesting, and there's a few more top players there: Dali Ali, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, people like that. Yeah. That um, they need to keep. Danny Rose is in the England squad. Um, Ericsson, who's you know uh, buried us in the Aviva in the last World Cup qualifier. So um, they need to upgrade the club uh, as a whole, rather than just one player. But it's great that Harry Kane has gone from a hundred grand a week, which is peanuts in Premier League terms and and, uh, and he's getting what he deserves and, um, I'm pleased for him and it's good for the Premier League Presumably Kev uh, Daniel Levy's uh, wages have also risen to make him to keep him <laughs> on top in terms of the uh, highest paid member of White Hart Lane at the moment? <laughs> I don't think. I, 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 this is actually hugely significant for Tottenham. And we've, we've been saying for many, many years that they have to reach this level. If they're going to go up beyond where they've been so far, they have to start paying the wages. Because, I mean, Harry Kane could get 300 grand a week at, at Man City tomorrow morning. And he was on 100, as Eamon said, uh, at Tottenham. And that was never going to work. They've got the new stadium. That's always been an issue. But with the money coming in from the Premier League TV deals now, it's not, it's not like it was when Arsenal were, were, were trying to build their stadium and pay for it. They can actually afford to, to finance this. This, this operation he probably made 200 million last year just on TV money alone Tottenham with the Premier League and the Champions League run they had so that kind of revenue coming in there'll be a naming rights on, on that that new White Hart Lane Stadium which is which is looking magnificent you can you can actually follow it online on live streams and it's, it's an amazing to see the thing unfolding online and uh, if, they, if they can make that work and really make that pay players like Kane are staying Pochettino clearly said to Daniel Levy when he when he signed the new contract look you have to start paying the players or else I can't take this any further and this is this is a huge moment for Tottenham They've been waiting kind of 20, 20 years since since Enoch took over that club to to say they're going to join the big league, and, and, and I think they've done that today. I mean, Alderweireld is going to go. There's, there's no doubt about that. They've decided to to get cash in on him, and they're, they're they're currently negotiating with Manchester United. 50 million pound Man United have offered, and then that's not that's not enough for, for Daniel. But uh, I think that'll be that'll be done in the next sort of two or three weeks. Maybe it may, might drag on till after the World Cup, but but he's gone. But you can see Ericsson being of interest to the big clubs, and and, and they may be now looking to pay him a big contract in the next few weeks because he certainly he's, he's as big a player for Tottenham as Kane in many ways absolutely and I mean if they do keep Ericsson if Dele Alli decides to commit as well and, and uh, Danny Rose likes a few other players that you, you mentioned for Spurs fans this is great because I'm sure they must have been worried that you know finance maybe rules all maybe the Arsenal model of the last few years yeah. under Arsene Wenger where they really weren't interested in keeping their best talent if the right money came in this surely signals their intent to try and break into that top mould of the Premier League it does um, but there's a couple of more things uh, one in particular they need to do they need to add depth to their squad I mean Wanyama mm. and Sissoko Sissoko's hopeless I mean he shouldn't be <laughs> playing in the Premier League uh, at a top club uh, he can't actually kick the ball but he's just a worker they've no depth in their squad and they need that so uh, obviously paying uh, keeping Pochettino paying him keeping Harry Kane paying him but it's a few if they let Naldo Varela go uh Good look. I mean, this guy's one of the best defenders in Europe, and he's a leader. Uh, you let players like that go because uh, they um, show a bit of rebelliousness. Uh, by the way, Levy's on seven million a year. It was uh, wow. his salary was published uh, seven a couple of months ago. Um, <laughs> but if they want to really upgrade the club, then they have to uh, spend money. And you know, as Kevin just said, if they earn two hundred million from television rights last year between the Premier League, Champions League uh, and the sponsorship would be massive. So it's a calculated risk or a calculated decision. Um, Should we do this? Uh, And it involves players. The players and the coach are the most important people in the club. Um, And it isn't good enough to just get keep Harry Kane uh, because Harry can't do it on his own. True. You need to keep all the elements that are there, the coach, of course, Ericsson, of course, Bertongen, who's a superb player. Uh, and uh, it's good for the Premier League. It makes it more competitive. They need to they need to buy two or three players, I think, to have a squad with enough depth to be in the Champions League and to be competitive in the Premier League.